it's been described to me by a neurosurgeon as soft jelly donut like material that provides cushioning to the spine. What are the most common injuries in a car accident versus the most serious accidents you have seen in auto accident cases? The most common injuries that we see are spine injuries, spine pain, uh, disc herniations. So in the spine, we have the vertebrae, which are the bones in the spine that provide the structure. And then we have the disc space in between the, the disc itself is, is, it's been described to me by a neurosurgeon as uh, soft jelly donut like material that provides cushioning to the spine. Either one of those structures can be injured with trauma uh, in a car accident. And what we most often see, it's the soft tissue and the disc itself uh, versus an actual break to the vertebrae because that just requires a lot more trauma and a lot more force. But it, many people, can, again, can have an injury to the disc itself which presents problems when the disc uh, you know, begins to, to uh, herniate out or come out and impinge on the nerve root in the spine. So those are the most common that we see, but another category that we see all the time are brain injuries. So concussions, and there's scales for concussions. It can be you know, a mild concussion all the way to a severe concussion, but either way they're classified as a traumatic brain injury. So those are very common to see whether there's any actual structural changes to the brain or not. Sometimes just the trauma and the force on the brain and the brain moving around inside the skull uh, is a very common, a common type of injury with the forces that we see exerted in a car accident.